Why Spider-Man Freshman Year is not in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yo what is going on you guys welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video we're going to be talking about why Spider-Man freshman year is not in the MCU but if you are new around here and enjoy all types of Spider-Man content then make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell so you do not miss another video. After the comic con and all the freshman year news we are going to be posting many videos regarding that topic. Also if you want awesome No Way Home t-shirts and the Blu-rays I'll leave links in the description where you can go pick them up for yourselves. But with that being said let's get straight into the video. So today we're going to be looking at the theories that suggest why it's not in the MCU but I'm also going to be giving you guys a possible alternative that could basically be a fine line between whether it's in the MCU or it's not in the MCU. So the first option that I'm going to give you is a possibility but I don't think it's the most likely option and that's that it's just completely disconnected from the MCU and just contains references to the Marvel Cinematic Universe in the same way that Spectacular Spider-Man was a separate show from the Raimi Universe however it contained many references to the Raimi Universe movies in terms of the shots that they used, the poses that Spider-Man does, I'll throw a few examples on the screen at the moment, but if you guys have watched Spectacular Spider-Man, you'll know exactly what I mean. And the reason they did this at the time was because the Raimi movies were at their peak and they were the most popular piece of Spider-Man media at the time. And because the Raimi movies were what the audiences has grew to become used to when it comes to Spider-Man, Spectacular Spider-Man emulated this throughout the show. Obviously, it was only references and there was no actual connections, but maybe that's what Spider-Man Freshman Year is in fact doing. Maybe referencing the MCU you since that's what the larger audience in today's age has come to know and love. This theory would be quite a good theory only if Marvel Studios have confirmed themselves that Freshman Year actually takes place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in which they have. They say that Freshman Year looks at Peter's lead up to becoming Spider-Man in the MCU. So how does this even work? Because we have characters like Dr. Octavius, Norman Osborn, Harry Osborn, characters that would just undercut the rest of the MCU, especially Spider-Man No Way Home. You'd think that Peter would at least address that he's met a Norman Osborn or met a Dr. Octavius before in the past. And as we know in the MCU, as Norman references in No Way Home, Norman Osborn does not exist, neither does Oscorp, neither does Harry Osborn. All three which do exist in Spider-Man Freshman Year, which Marvel Studios is saying takes place in the Marvel Cinematic universe. Not to mention something else that is also really confusing is that Marvel Studios has confirmed a second season of Spider-Man Freshman Year titled Spider-Man Sophomore Year, which will follow Peter in his sophomore year of high school. And if it turns out that this show is actually in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that means that this season of the show will take place during Spider-Man Homecoming since that's when that movie took place, which would completely undercut the whole of Homecoming unless they decided to address everything that happened in that movie. But if they did, that would give them no leverage or leeway for the second season to do whatever they want. So that leads me on to my second option. How could this be in the MCU, but also not at the same time? What is the fine line? So the second option, option and the most likely option in my opinion is that this universe is a variant of the Marvel Cinematic Universe itself. So as we know in Loki Season 1, the sacred timeline split after He Who Remains, aka Kang the Conqueror, was killed, which caused many different universes to expand and branch out. And this split in the timeline is actually how we got to What If, and that's how all these other different possibilities are possible. In which one of these timeline splits probably was the Freshman Year Universe, which is an alternate timeline of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, where Tony Stark is replaced by Norman Osborn, and Peter Parker will go up against some of his classic foes from the comic books. However, it still has hints of the MCU in there. But the question you are now asking me, but Lewis, why would they say it's in the MCU when it's in a variant timeline of the MCU? Wouldn't they just say that? Well, the MCU is actually on a more broader scale now. If you really think about it, the MCU isn't just that one universe of Marvel products. What If is in a variety of different universes, but it's still considered an MCU show. Another example of this is in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, the Illuminati and all the characters from the different universes, including America Chavez, who is a not originally from the MCU, are considered 
MCU characters, which defines them as Marvel Cinematic Universe characters, but they're not actually from the Marvel Cinematic Universe as the one universe itself. They're from different universes from across the multiverse, but they're still considered MCU characters. So this could be the technicality that we're all getting confused on, that this is still an MCU show that shows how Peter became Spider-Man in the MCU, but it's not actually the MCU, it's just a variant timeline of the MCU. And I think this is probably what it is, because they're saying it's in the MCU, but obviously it's not in the MCU, and it's definitely not canon before Civil War because of the characters that show up and the things that it completely undercuts from the rest of the movies. And as we do know, the main timeline, or the MCU movie timeline as I like to call it because that's where most of the stuff happens, is where they make most of their money and where most of the focus is going to be. So if they're going to break continuity anywhere, it's not going to be in the main timeline of movies, which is why I'm really, really confused about this and all of you guys are as well. But the second option of this being an MCU variant timeline is probably the most likely thing to happen, only because I think they're saying it's in the MCU, but also it's quite clearly not as we've just discussed. So basically, this is just like a whole show dedicated to one what-if scenario, and that's what I think it'll be. And that's exactly what Marvel Zombies is as well, since that is a whole show based off that one what-if episode. So that's exactly what I think this is, but I want to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you think Spider-Man Freshman Year is in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Do you not think it's in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Or do you think that it's just a what-if scenario of the MCU going forward, but it's just a whole show about Spider-Man? I want to know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like on it if you did enjoy. And also if I give you sort of an idea of what to expect. Make sure to subscribe for more freshman year videos to come in the near future. And also make sure to hit the bell so you do not miss another bit of Spider-Man content. Because we post everything Spider-Man on the channel. Also like I said at the start of the video. If you are interested in some awesome No Way Home t-shirts and the Blu-rays. Then make sure to click the link in the description down below. And you can get yours today. With that being said. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.